the city will install hundreds of new license plate readers in hopes of reducing crime. Good evening, I'm Ryan Yamamoto. This comes on the heels of a year that saw mixed results when it came to crime. In 2023, assaults and burglaries were down in San Francisco while there was a jump in robberies and stolen cars compared to the year before. Our Jose Martinez spoke to one business owner who says they will take any extra help that they can get. I'm here in the Tenderloin where small business owners are reacting to the license plate readers project that Mayor London Bridge is trying very hard to make it happen. Let me put it in the faster. Arif Jolly owns Zizul Cafe, a Sudanese restaurant in the heart of the Tenderloin, the center of the city's homelessness and drug epidemic. Still, it happens in some corners like the the unsafety places, unsecure um, drug dealers and all this. It's a tough area for many other businesses, but he says he's lucky because his business has survived six years without getting broken into. But some extra help from the city will be appreciated. Better, almost. Um, yeah, always uh, people need to see that. It's not like just to to feel it's better. So he says he's excited about Mayor London Breed's automated license plate readers project, especially after she signed legislation on Thursday to allow the SFPD to begin stalling 400 of the readers to address public safety issues in San Francisco. In a statement, the mayor said, in part, these license plate readers can play a critical role in disrupting retail theft, car break-ins, side shows, and other criminal activity. With this legislation in place, the city can finally put the state retail theft grant of $17.3 million from the state of California's organized retail theft grant program to use. We're a big city, so we have big city challenges. Uh, we have crime, we have retail theft, and one of the most effective ways to combat, combat that is to hold people accountable. Um, and one of the ways of doing that is making sure our law enforcement and um, uh, government agencies have the proper tools. For René Colorado, executive director of the Tenderloin Merchants Association, this project would definitely bring some peace of mind to many small businesses in the area. We want to be supportive of this program, and I think if, if we continue to hold people and bad actors accountable, it's only positives for our community. And you can expect to see these license plate readers pretty soon, since Mayor Breed has directed her staff and departments to work directly with the SFMTA and SFPUC both of which has existing pole infrastructure that can be used to mount the cameras. So Arif says he's trusting the mayor on this one. As long as she did her good research and she knows how the process is going to be, I think there is always a percentage of uh, success for that. And ultimately, they all agree on one thing. Anything that can help them fight crime is a good idea. And dozens of other Bay Area cities, including San Jose, Oakland, and Berkeley, have their own license plate readers. So do agencies like BART and even companies like Kaiser at some of their East Bay facilities.